So you've been told in order to get the most cinematic looking footage you need to be shooting in log. Well, your camera doesn't seem to have it. What do you do? No worries. In this video, I'm going to break down step by step the top three picture profiles that I personally use that will allow you to enhance your footage and get the most out of your camera today. My family, my friends, and everyone else in between, welcome to a channel that teaches you how to explore, inspire, and engage as a videographer. My name is Cody Scott, and if you're new here, feel free to consider hitting that subscribe button. Well, you don't have to, but you kind of have to. What? In this video, we're going to talk about the best three picture profiles that you can use in a camera that doesn't shoot in log. Now I wanted to make this video because when I first started off as a videographer, I had learned about log far down the road after I had purchased all my gear. But that's perfectly fine because being in that situation, I was forced to grow as a videographer and master my craft and master my camera and learn how to tweak the settings to get the most out of it. To get the most out of your camera, if you don't have a camera that is shooting in log, you need to be adjusting your picture profiles. So what is a picture profile? So when you receive your camera, it already comes stocked with picture profile presets. That's a tongue twister. These presets are labeled differently and are recommended to use depending on the setting that you are filming in. Now I use Canon cameras. I'm using the 60 Mark II right now. And if you're using Canon cameras, it comes stocked with a preset called Landscape. Landscape is great to use when you're shooting landscapes. It comes with another one named Portrait. It's great if you're shooting portraits or shooting kombucha. I'm not actually getting paid to promote kombucha. I just love this stuff. Now, each of these picture profiles will allow you to capture images differently. What I use most is a custom neutral picture profile setting that allows you to obtain a larger dynamic range with your camera and give you ultimately a better resulting image. This also gives you more control if you plan on color grading in post-production. Now in just a second, I'm going to give you the exact settings and the exact picture profiles that you can add to your camera right now, completely free, you don't have to download anything. But before I break down those settings, I wanna talk a little bit about dynamic range, what it is, and why having a flat profile allows you to obtain a larger dynamic range. So right now I want you to look around you, look left, look right, Observe the shadows, observe the highlights, observe the midtones, everything that you see right now. You can see into the shadow. Your eye is able to look into the shadows. Your eye is able to look into the light, not the sun. I don't recommend looking at the sun through solar flared glasses. Hi. Huh? However, cameras with a larger dynamic range are actually able to see into those shadows and see into those highlights. If you expose for the highlights, then the shadows are too dark. If you expose for the shadows, then the highlights are blown out. If you have a larger dynamic range, then you are able to see evenly the shadows and the highlights. And by shooting in a flat profile or shooting in log, this will give you a larger dynamic range. But before I break down these settings, I just wanna give you a quick disclaimer about a false log profile out there. I'm sure if you're looking for really good log profiles, you've probably seen it by now. It's called Cine Style. How many times have I done this so far? You probably see this at least three times in every one of my videos. So the Technicolor Cine Style picture profile can actually be installed into your camera. Now this is foreign to your camera, and yes, it will give you a flat, almost log picture profile. However, anything that is foreign to your camera is not necessarily the best for it. In my experience, Technicolor CineStyle introduces a lot of noise into your shadows. If you are color grading in post and you're using CineStyle, you are going to get a lot of noise in your shadows. Now it's different for every camera and CineStyle is not necessarily a bad thing. However, I would only recommend using it if you actually have a camera that shoots in log already and you wanna just try different versions of log. Kombucha! This guy's crazy talking about the picture profiles and kombucha. All right, enough of that jibber jabber. Let's actually break down these picture profile sets. You can look at these settings, 
put them in your camera and go try them out right now. The first picture profile is the one that I use the most when I'm creating films for clients and I'm putting commercials out there and I have time to think about my environment and my settings. This picture profile looks extremely flat at first as you can see on the screen right now. However, after you color grade it, it yields powerful results which is why I use it the most. So I'm going to put these settings up on the screen right here, right now, so that you can pull out your bullet journal and write them down. Starting with sharpness and then moving to contrast and then to saturation and then to color tone. So I want you to pick up your camera, go into your picture profile settings, change the picture profile to neutral. Once you've done that, copy these settings. Two, minus four, minus four, plus one. This is the picture profile, as I just told you, I use the most because it gets the best results. It gives you a sharp image. It keeps that contrast low so you can obtain the details in the shadows and in the highlights. And the color tone, I just bring up a little bit for skin tones because I found out when you're color grading in post, it gives you a little bit more control over the skin tones. And if you're new to color grading, then it might be a little tricky to achieve true skin tone in post-production. So this next picture profile is actually a picture profile that I learned from Devin Graham, or you guys may know him as Devin Supertramp. He uses this same picture profile in all of his cameras. Now this one's not a log profile, however, if you can color grade in your camera and you don't plan on doing a whole lot of color grading in post, this will be the best option for you. Now, I love this picture profile and I've used it for a vast majority as I was beginning as a filmmaker and photographer. Now, the settings are a little bit differently because they're tailored around to give you the exact same image that your eye sees. I want you to go into your camera, change your picture profile to standard. After you change your picture profile to standard, go down to that sharpness, drop it to zero. Go down to your contrast, change it to minus one. Next, your saturation, plus one. Your color tone, plus one. So that's zero, minus one, plus one, plus one. Again, if you can color grade in your camera and you don't plan on doing a lot of color grading in post, this will be perfect for you and you don't have to worry about blowing out your highlights or your shadows because this is native to what the eye sees. Finally, my third picture profile. This is kind of a blend between both of the picture profiles that I've showed you so far. I use this picture profile when I'm walking around vlogging because it saves me time in post-production. I don't necessarily have to color grade a whole lot because I've already color graded in camera. The settings for this picture profile I'm going to list right here. It is two minus four plus one plus one. That's two minus four plus one plus one. Sharpness at two, contrast at four, saturation at one, color tone at plus one. Again, this is a blend between the first two picture profiles. This will give you a larger dynamic range because you're preserving that highlights and the shadows with the contrast. However, you're color grading as well in camera, which will save you a ton of time in post. If you're not a beginner and you're not a professional and you're somewhere in between, I recommend starting off at this picture profile because it will give you the best results out of camera. Well, that's all for me guys and I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot from it. If your camera's not shooting in log, you now have three picture profiles that you can use today and get phenomenal results and get more out of your camera. And if you're watching this video and you already use a picture profile of your own, Drop it below in the comments. I'd like to know what it is. Maybe try it out and to see if you can get better results with it. Before I go, I wanna ask a question that I probably know the answer to, but I'm curious to see what kind of answers I get. Do you shoot in log or do you shoot in Rec. 709 more? I have a pretty good feeling that I know what you guys are going to say. All right, if you enjoyed this video, hit that dislike button unsubscribe and do not hit that notification button do not hit that button i'll see you guys in the next video